and a tribute to fathers and sons everywhere on this Father's Day, we present to you these definitely dad jokes. It's a father and son production. At what time of day was Adam created? A little before Eve. Did Eve ever have a date with Adam? No, just an apple. Uh, but what do we have that Adam never had? Ancestors. Where is the first math problem mentioned in the Bible? Uh, that would be when God told Adam and Eve to go forth and multiply. Who was the greatest male financier in the Bible? That would be Noah. He was floating his stock while everyone else was in liquidation. Uh, by the way, if you need an archive, I know a guy. <laughs> but moving on, uh, why didn't they play cards on the ark? Noah was standing on the deck. <laughs> Quite a guy. Who was the smartest man in the Bible? Abraham. He knew a lot. Uh, when is tennis mentioned in the Bible? Uh, that would be when Joseph served in Pharaoh's court. And baseball? Oh, baseball? Would that be the big inning? Who was the most business savvy woman in the Bible? Uh, I was going to ask you, but I guess I'd have to say it would probably be Pharaoh's daughter who went down to the bank of the Nile and pulled out a little profit. And which servant of God was the worst lawbreaker in the Bible? Oh, that'd have to be Moses. He broke all Ten Commandments at once. Uh, but who was the greatest comedian in the Bible? Samson. He brought the house down. Who was the smallest person in the Bible? See, now that's a tough one, because it could be Nehemiah, uh, but, but it also could be Bildad the Shuhite. But I think it'd have to go to David, who slept on his watch. Uh, <laughs> you got me that time. <laughs> Why was Boaz dangerous before he got married? Uh, that would be because he was ruthless. But what's and the what is the difference between Jesus and a pizza? Jesus can't be topped. And what car did the disciples drive? A Honda. The Bible says they were all together in one accord. Finally, why did the farmer bring his cows to church? Oh, that would be because he heard they were getting a new pastor. That last joke was officially approved by me as a member of the pastoral search team. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Happy Father's Day.